Jet and I, we're gonna cut your hair, huh? Got a haircut? Mm -hmm. He's supplied with treats. I am supplied with Chewy Nerds in this pocket and peanut butter M&Ms in this pocket. I'm gonna show you just an easy, very, very easy that mom, way. Mom, what? Mom, are there peanut butter jelly um, in the pocket? I hope I don't have a peanut butter and jelly in my pocket. I see. <laughs> I have peanut butter M&Ms in my pocket. <gasps> Yum. Yum. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a very, very easy way to cut your little boy's hair. This, honestly, I feel like could be done with any skill level. It's just simple. That's why I choose to do this haircut a lot. I will link everything that I used on my blog, so just be sure and go search boys haircutting over there. Let's get started. Let's do this thing. Okay, you ready for a haircut? First, make sure your kid's comfortable. Usually, I will bring out an iPad so he just stays entertained on that. I keep all my haircutting supplies together. The trimmers that I use are actually bronze beard trimmers, and and they are so incredibly sharp. They will last a long time. They come with all sorts of different attachments. I'm gonna test a few different ones right now because I don't want my boys to look like they just barely got a haircut. I'm gonna start with the seven millimeter. I kind of take the edge of his eyebrow, maybe a little bit in, and I go up from that. So kind of take the edge of it, go up, and that is where you're going to start the trimmers at. If you look just how the hairline goes, you usually, it usually goes like this, and then goes down, you're gonna start right where it goes like this and you're gonna take these trimmers, just start buzzing. And then I actually just do a line, just a straight line all the way back. And then I take the buzzers. Can you tell everybody what your name is? Jet. Jet? Jet what? Jet Fuisen. Jet Fuisen? Mm -hmm. Do you like your name? Do you think it makes you go fast? What's your brother's name? Dash. Dash? I find that when my boys are focusing on the actual haircut themselves is when they start just kind of being crazy. So be prepared with questions. Be prepared with things to talk about, huh? We're essentially gonna make a U around their little head. Hey, look down for me. Oh my goodness, look at all this hair that's coming off. If you need to, you can get their hair wet to kind of keep it to the side also. Okay, try to follow the same line as you're going around. We're so close to being done with the buzzies. When you get up to this edge, you've kind of already created this line. Just make sure, hold the hair over, and just make sure and clean it up really good. Have them look down so that you can get all the longer hair at the base of their neck. Okay, we're gonna clean up around the edges with this in a little bit. We're gonna take a water bottle, which P.S. these are the best water bottles ever. They are a continuous flow, and once you use them, you will never try another water bottle again. Here is the fun part. So just get their hair fully saturated. What you're gonna do is you're gonna figure about how long you want it in the very front, and you're gonna take this front section, and I know that I wanna cut off about that much. And then I'm gonna go to the side, and I'm going to match it up with the middle. Okay, so now this whole little front section is done. Make sure it's even, because sometimes your knuckles, as they pull up the hair, they pull it up a little harder than the rest. So just go through and check it a few times. Front section's done. Now I'm just gonna come right here. Oh, hold on, and just check it out. I know how long I want it, so then I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna cut this so that it matches the front section. When you do that, you shouldn't be cutting anything off that front because the front is where you wanna match the rest of it too. So, and I'm just gonna do that all the way back, just right in the center. Now this whole middle section matches the front section. Do that with the back section. In the very back, I do make it a little bit shorter through this back section, just because it makes it easier to style. I'm gonna just angle my fingertips down just a little bit. So instead of doing it straight like this, I'll angle it. Now this whole front section is where I want it to be, and this whole middle section is where I want it to be. You're basically Ready? making all the edges match the middle. It's raining. It's raining. And also try very, very hard to not get frustrated with your kids or with yourself <laughs> because you want to make sure and keep the experience fun. 
Because this is something that's going to have to happen a lot. Here, can you stop moving? No. Hey, if you're so good, you can have a treat after this. A uh, one. I don't know, what kind of treat do you like? A sucker. You like a sucker? Yeah. Blue one or yellow one? A blue one. You like the blue ones? Is that why there's no blue ones left? Yep. This whole time you're using that very front section and the middle section as a guide. Now that I've kind of gone over the whole hair, I'm just gonna comb it all the way back yeah. and make sure. So the very end, just check it. Make sure you have no crazy points. Just kind of go back through the hair and make sure that it's all, for the most part, the same length. Okay, look straight. Can I see? Oh, you look so handsome. Okay, hold on. Hold on, stay still. Okay, mm. if your little kid has really thick hair mm. and you kind of want the ends PC, I don't really, I mean, this is a little more advanced, I guess, but you can definitely do it. Take your scissors and just cut into the tips of them a little bit so it thins out the tips. Depends how long and how coarse your child's hair is, but I will do that around the edges a little bit, just so it lays a little nicer. But again, it's not totally necessary. If you are not comfortable with that, don't do it. Are you so strong? Yeah. Oh, show them your muscles. I'm just gonna clean it up just a little bit more. <laughs> hey, do you like alligators better or crocodiles better? You like alligators better? Once you get to the end, it's time to clean up around the edges. We're gonna take the guards off of this. <laughs> oh, look how tough you are. You get really soft. And then sometimes your kids move and you go a little bit higher, just like that. And you just, it's fine. You just make it work. Down at your toes. See, oh. you're totally fine. So I like to do straight, just right here. And then I'm gonna take this around his little ears very carefully. Go straight down, straight across. Now around the ears, this is the tricky part. This is when an iPad would come in really handy. So I usually just take this end and I kind of just go up this and just kind of go up in a circle. So you're not really touching the skin. It's just really easy to cut their little. That ear's done. Make sure your neck's really good. Okay, look down for me. Are you done? One last thing. I'm gonna comb it down and just make sure there aren't any weird stragglers. Point cut into it just a teensy bit. Because there are some days around our house when we don't get ready. And I just wanna make sure that if his hair's down, there's not gonna be anything weird and long. A lot of boys have a little calic right here, so I just make sure and have the back start at about the same point that their calic's at, just so you don't have any weird things. So I usually try and take it in a line, just right across the back. Where their hairline naturally starts to curve up, it's just totally personal preference, but I do like a curve. Make sure that the curve matches up with the other side. One other method that you can do is you can take your first section and trim it. I already trimmed it to the length that I wanted it. And then brush back a little bit 
And if you remember about what that length is, you can just keep doing that all the way back through the haircut. If you'd like to do it that way, go at it from the side and make sure that you're staying even. That is going to be how you check to make sure that your length is good the whole way back. And then just go and do it on the sides. See on this how I have a point? This is that middle section that I cut and I need it to match. So all this needs to be cut off. Around the edges I do try and make it shorter. So I'll angle my fingers down just a little bit. How to make sure it's even when you're done is just take it the whole way back and make sure that you don't have any little points. So right here, see how I have this? So you're just gonna trim that off and then you're just gonna go all the way around, making sure that you don't have any more of those. Peek at it from the front. How are we looking? The goal is to have a really clean U around his head.